Welcome to the uh, good old fashioned Masonic podcast where we discuss Masonic related uh, topics while drinking an old fashioned. Fantastic. I'm Brian. And I'm Russ. So if you're wondering if uh, we wear the same clothing every day, uh, it's not that we're just gross. Um, we, we, uh, we film several of our settings on the same day where we're having a scotch it's, tasting. At it's that. almost like the price is right. I don't, I don't understand the reference. Uh, several episodes in one day. Oh, you know, so I do know Track this. Track with me. Oh, so I did know this. They filled a week's worth of episodes in one day. However. They changed. Drew Carey or Bob Barker, they yeah. changed. So yeah. we didn't, so our budget doesn't allow for yeah. that. It's just kind of, you know, times are tough and masonry. So, but anyway, that's just a whole nother deal. We're in a recession, you know. Uh, well, it depends on who you ask, but we I will know. not go into that topic. That's a whole nother another thing. So uh, we, we filmed this today Well, we've been over at Russ's house and we've been doing a Scotch Appreciation Day with several, uh, several Masons uh, yeah. in Wichita. So what we should have done earlier, uh, Russ's home is on a great water feature. What we should have done was spin it around and have the, have the lake in the background and that would have been kind of a, a, a fun thing to yeah, do. Yeah, but we have this blank white wall because of your choice, but right, that's right. okay. Right. So since we're talking about attire and what we wear, yeah. so we're not going to get in who's more bougie than the next because this banter could go back, back and forth. Oh, so, yeah, so let's, so. so I love to throw, Hello, Russ, Pot. I, I love to throw Russ off a little bit. So Russ, it's a typical Saturday. It's a typical Saturday morning. What are you wearing when you go out and about? Are you wearing t-shirts, polos, khakis, jeans? What do you wear on a typical Saturday? On a Saturday, I would, Saturday. On, on a Saturday I would wear a t-shirt and shorts because I head to the farmer's market and I just sort of chill out. What do you wear on an average Saturday, Brian? So if you had asked me 20 years ago, maybe 30 years ago, probably jeans and a t-shirt. But I'm much more comfortable in khaki type material. That's just me. It's not, listen, I grew up in a farming community, guys, so don't try to throw shade on me. I know Russ wants to do that right now. This is just Very what much we do. So. However, I do love the farmer's market. Russ and bougie. I, we, it's, it's bougie. So bougie. Russ and I, we don't, we, we live maybe a mile and a half apart. So we're, we're not far from one another. Uh, we've never attended the farmer's market together. Because you sleep in late. Again, he's throwing shade. Not that it's not <laughs> true. However, uh, here, here, here we go with uh, all of that. So, uh, so today, today uh, we, we've been kind of fighting who's coming on next, and I and I think that we have a line officer at Albert Pike that's coming on next. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So Matt Cook, Matt Cook came on after we were masters. Um, he, he, uh, I'm not, he's going to tell us what year he came yeah. on. Uh, but, but we, uh, we, we, we know Matt, Matt's here today. We know Matt just kind of running around. He, he's, uh, he's, a, he's a young officer. Don't let his kind of quiet demeanor, which we're going to draw some stuff out of him. Don't let his quiet demeanor, uh, fool you. But, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go grab a cocktail. We're going to grab Matt and we'll be ready to go. Awesome. All right. So stay with us. Thanks. All right, so welcome back. So we're here with Matt Cook from Albert Pike Lodge. So Matt, um, what we like to know here on this podcast is not just who the Mason is. So tell us who Matt, the man, is. Um, father of four boys. I have two teenagers and two young boys. Um, great lady. Uh, you know, full time job, all that. How are the kids? How old or how are they? How are we'll, they? We'll go with both. <laughs> uh, I have a 14-year-old, 12-year-old, 5-year-old, and a 4-year-old. So kind of all over the board. Boys, so, girls? All boys. So, all boys. Yep. Give a shout out to your lady. My lady, Katie. She's a great woman. All right. She's, I mean, she takes care of all of us. She, and she has a full-time job as well. So I um, hear she can cook. Which, she is an amazing What's cook. your favorite dish? Ah, it's a stir-fry. Oh. She's she's a great cook, honestly. Yeah, fantastic. So most of you will think this is a knock. <laughs> so I'm going to speak the truth. I've been married almost 28 years. My wife can't cook. 
It's okay. It's okay. My, my mother wasn't a cook. It, it's so, I, I'm accustomed to that. So when Matt first started dating his, his new lady, he, he really did speak about how she, she cook it. I'm, I'm going to make this up, but I'm going to hope I'm right. She like from the East Coast, New Jersey she area? She was from New Jersey, yes. Yeah, oh, that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Research, baby. Research. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we, uh, we're we excited about that. Russ has a, has a great lady, and he's like, he's kind of a cook. Uh, she is, very she much is. so. And she likes stir fry and a lot of Asian things. I, yeah, it's good. fascinating. I like it. That's yeah. uh, So let's Heidi, go. honey, if you're listening. <laughs> Get a cookbook. Love you. <laughs> yeah. A lot of great things. Yeah. So what's Russ, that, the pioneer uh, woman? Pioneer cookbook? woman. So I will yeah. tell you this. My my wife, um, not that anybody on this would know, a gin hat maker. She's a Christian author. They went to school together. They're best friends. She just put out a cookbook, and I know that is in our house. And uh, there's been a couple of things that uh, we have eaten from this cookbook. And uh, Jen, thank you for uh, taking care of Heidi. It's uh, it's saved our marriage. All right. Well, let's get down to business. So. Uh, Matt, walk us through your Masonic journey. Uh, sort of how did it start, where are you at, and sort of uh, just walk us through that. What, where do you think you're going to end? Yeah. I, I have big aspirations, but so I started, became a Mason in 2018, uh, joined the Oliver Pike line in 2020 as a junior steward. Okay. I'm currently junior deacon um yeah i mean hopefully i'll make it to master one day that's big big thing on my list um after that i'd, I'd really like to to maybe move up in the shrine and do some different stuff but sure, think, sir, yeah. yeah yeah i'm a scottish right mason try to stay active in that as well yeah did you uh I, the scottish right had a class recently mm -hmm. in the last few weeks were active in that yeah i, I did a small part in the degree work and then I did a lot I helped a lot with the stage crew okay okay yeah. so, so the behind the scenes so yep. who put you on the line at Pike so 2020 yep. would that have been Beck yep Joe, Joe Beck, Beck. Yep. okay yep. okay so uh, you, you know you talked about uh, so you're a Shriner as well mm -hmm. so yeah so what activities are what units do you belong to okay. what what do you do in the Shrine so I am in the cartoon unit, Buzz Lightyear. I am a past president. I was president in 2020. Nice. Um, I am a humidor, hounds and foxes. So, so what do they do? They're the cigar club. You know, okay. Get together, have a good cigar, a drink, and you know, where, do business and hang out. Where do they meet? At Midian. Okay. Midian currently. Yep. So we talked about on a previous episode, Midian, um, we are... Uh, selling the building uh, right. we're sizing it appropriately to our membership so the question is so with, with this transition where were the humidor hounds where have they talked about where they're going to meet i cannot speak on exactly what they're going to do i'm sure we'll figure out something good yeah, yeah. yeah. have you uh i know that you've met russ and i at the humidor out out west uh -huh. right. um and i think is yeah. that is that a place that that could work for the human absolutely hounds temporarily yeah they have a, a nice lounge there you know okay it's it's a good place to meet so definitely a good temporary spot if nothing else so as a junior officer about a pike mm -hmm. you know you've been able to sort of see some of the things that have happened what do you what do you see that you like and what are some things that you want to implement as you um sort of continue your journey as an officer so i mean obviously philanthropy and you know our donating and doing doing outworks in the community is great but i think what we really need to focus on what i like most is focusing on our existing membership kind of driving in older members that maybe aren't as active anymore or maybe even members who have admitted just kind of reintegrating them back in I get cheers, cheers, I think cheers, 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 cheers to that. that. Very so, much so. A, a lot of us talk about membership, 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 and bringing in the new guys. Um, and I think, just kind of knowing Matt a little bit, if I'm understanding you correctly, sometimes you have to fix what's going on inside before right. you can invite the outsiders right. in. And that seems like, like yeah. maybe a little bit of an area of focus. So yeah. if you That's had a magic wand for masonry, Magic wand. Mm -hmm. I mean, it doesn't have to be realistic. So, boom, you have one magic wand, one dab, one wish. What would it be, and how would it impact masonry? Before you answer that, Brian, I'd love that you 
you are a center of the attention here. But I think we need to bring him in just oh, yeah. a little bit yeah. more. Let's, let's, yeah, let's bring there we go. In. As though we like each other, because <laughs> we uh, we want to hear this answer. Yeah. You know, if people may disagree, but honestly, I I think unity. I, I just want to see more Masonic organizations kind of working together. Um, just more rather than everybody kind of working against each other or doing their own thing. I mean, we all have our own goals and and our own aspirations, but I would like to see everybody just kind of come together and maybe put resources together to build. Yeah. So we're talking about past masters. Yeah. So past masters, so far in your Masonic journey, what past master sort of inspires you the most and why? Uh, Besides Russ Brown and Brian Burke. <laughs> so those are easy answers. <laughs> yes. Everyone I mean, knows that. <laughs> so but he would now he came in yeah, after us, so we can't claim yeah. credit for, no. for, for the for the young superstars. Yeah. You know, there's so many to so many past masters have done great things and done different things and you know, I I give props to Chris Collins what he did, you know, in his year was amazing. Um, you know, Doug Chartier, he, for all his faults, we love Doug, but the man brought in, I mean, he brings in people all the time. I wouldn't be a Mason if it wasn't for Doug Chartier. Yep. So I have to give it to, to Doug. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Cheers. Yeah, everyone's got it. Cheers to Dougie Fresh. So Dougie Fresh was on the line. So let me ask you this. So you have four, four sons. Yep. Four sons. So. Fast forward, mm -hmm. they're eligible to be a Mason. In Mason's, uh, in Masonry's current state, mm -hmm. do they join when they're 18 or do they not and why? So it's touchy. Um, so I say, I, I always kind of try to kind of show them a little bit, bring them around, hope that it sparks some desire in them, but I'm not going to force them. I don't want to push something on them that they're not going to love. Right. So do they join when they're 18? Probably. But I was I the man for masonry at 18? Probably not. Yeah. That's it, sometimes it takes some years to to gain knowledge to to just kind of become who you are. So yeah. We we joined. How old were you when you joined? Do you remember? No. I was. I'm not very good with math. You know, I'm a banker. <laughs> I'm not a banker, and I'm a little bit better, better than I think I was 35. Yeah. Um, I was 35 as a master. Yeah, so there, there's a whole... Not, we're we're going to talk about that later. It's a little concerning, that conversation. But um, I, I agree with what Matt said. If I was 18 years old and was joining today, I would add... At that... Me at 18. There's a lot of 18-year-olds that are good. Me at 18, yeah. I wouldn't add the value. I would right. have loved to have my clock start. Yeah. Right, yeah. Exactly. You know, to tour to the 50, because yeah. I'm never going to get the 50. Yeah, I wish I would have joined earlier. But you know, I my, bro man. my brother, or my son at 18, he joined a fraternity in college. Mm -hmm. And that's the that's the beginning stage. And he is now 28. Um, when he is ready, he will be amazing. But right. I don't know that path. Right. He knows that right. path. And, and you, you give them enough light to just exactly. make that choice of their yeah. own. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So one of the things we do on all of our uh, episodes, something's got to go. One thing has to go, and you'll kind of see it up there on the screen. So yeah. if there was one thing that had to go, we're in, kind of in the holiday season, mm -hmm. and I kind of know your answer. I'm a little yeah. annoyed with the answer, <laughs> so we're going to debate this a little bit. Thanksgiving's coming up. Thanksgiving's so. coming up. So right. you have a beautiful, moist, <laughs> not dry turkey, a beautiful, moist turkey, pumpkin pie, delicious pumpkin pie with the appropriate nutmeg on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some stuffing, not not necessarily something from stove. Not that you're not delicious. Not in story the turkey, turkey, but in that in that baking Ooh, dish. I, I, crisp, I can debate that. That's another yeah, debate. Crisp and a delicious ham. If one has to go forever, Matt, one has to go forever. What is it, and why? Be prepared to defend your stance. Unpopular opinion: turkey. And I, and I like turkey. Boom. <laughs> Tur Save your frustration. I like it. Don't, but don't but if you that. have Christmas ham or Thanksgiving ham, why do you yeah. need it? Yeah. Why why do you need a turkey? <laughs> it's bland. 
you guys know my answer from last time. Yes. I can't even get in the middle of this. I'm outnumbered. Um, how do, this should be a question on a Masonic petition. I think we've got membership <laughs> issues now. It'll probably be worse if they yes. pick something like that. But uh, that's really all that we uh, have today. Uh, so if there's a topic that you'd like to discuss, let us know in the comments. Or send us something on Messenger. If you're watching us on Facebook, YouTube, or LinkedIn, LinkedIn, please like us, follow us, subscribe us, share us. All the things that you do on social media, that's a young person thing. But uh, what, are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> He, he didn't quite hear me. <laughs> Matt gets it. Russ doesn't get it. But uh, thanks for following us, and uh, we hope that uh, you'll, you'll like the topics we have to come. Cheers, Cheers brothers. Cheers.